While on an Arctic cruise ship about three years ago, our final presenter of the night recognized some real talent in the ship's doctor, writing talent. As a result, she re decided to pass along his manuscript to a publisher. The rest is Giller Prize history. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Margaret Atwood. I'm delighted to present, be presenting the next book, Bloodletting and Miraculous Cures, by Dr. Vincent Lamb. In his other life, Vincent Lamb is an emergency room doctor who, not incidentally to this book, helped to fight the recent SARS outbreak in Toronto. It's noteworthy. <laughs> It's noteworthy how many doctors have become fiction writers, but medicine is, after all, a narrative art. Doctors and fiction writers both deal in extreme events, both have their fingers on the pulse of life and death, and neither is squeamish about gore on the floor. <laughs> Direct in style, unsparing though compassionate in observation, subtle in emotion, and occasionally gruesome in humor. Bloodletting and Miraculous Cures follows four medical students from widely different backgrounds as their stories intertwine, as their illusions are shattered, and as the meanings of many lives expand around them. The good news is doctors are human beings. The bad news is doctors are human beings. <laughs> The other good news is this book marks a stunning debut. Ladies and gentlemen, bloodletting and miraculous cures. I find that time passes quicker in the waiting room if you bring a good book. We don't claim to fix anyone or to know more than we can. Patient breathing. Can I get a bed back? The pulse is on the radio. Defibrillate this patient, please. Clear. The ER is kind of a theater for character study, and it becomes that way because people's passions are exaggerated and people's fears come to a head. I wanted to be a writer before I wanted to be a doctor, but I completely underestimated the amount of work that it would take to become a doctor. And it was actually a lot of work. Dr. Carr, I think we're ready for the anterior shoulder reduction. From midnight to three is running time, tired and thirsty. The patients pace the waiting room or shape in stretchers. This part of the night is for fighting. The patients develop additional medical problems while they wait. They construct opinions about how they should be treated. Opinions. Later, it will be easier because they will be like sedated animals and they won't care. But now, it is all arguing and pushing. We do put up a certain kind of visage, you know, and there's often another person sort of acting behind it and experiencing things in a slightly different way. One thing that is hard for people to accept is how much is random. The fact is that many things are chancy and unpredictable, and it's just the way things go. Lies are about belief, about a reality suspended because we want to believe the lie. Both the teller and the recipient must trust each other for everything to hang together. I sense this trust between us, and I say, you did everything you could do, so did we. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Vincent Lamb. Yeah.